In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take all of those 2D graphic DWG exports and import them or XREF them into one CAD drawing that can be shared with your consultants. Let me show you. All right, so this is just nothing but a CAD, uh, 2D CAD environment. And so a common command is XR. You type X and you type R and then hit the space bar. And what that does is it opens up this attach drawing uh, window over here. And let's see, if I were to close it and type XR like that, it brings it up. So X, XR stands for external references, all right? So attach drawing, and we're gonna go into uh, our exports here. So these are all of the different drawings that I exported. All right, and so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna XREF in our walls first because that's kind of an obvious thing to see happen. And when I hit attach the drawing, I get this uh, attach reference drawing dialog. I don't wanna specify my position and I don't wanna specify my scale. I want it to land right on the origin and be at full scale. So let's just hit okay. All right, so next I'm gonna hit Z for zoom. So Z space bar and then E space bar for extents. So this puts all of the geometry on my screen, just like in SketchUp, there's a zoom extents command. So now we have uh, everything on our screen. You can see that we have our walls. So we're in good shape. All right, so um, next let's attach another drawing. Let's attach our doors. All right, so then we'll say open and then say, I'll just hit enter and check that out. Our doors fall right into place because everything was exported at the correct, uh, at, at that same base point. So this way I can just dump all these different level one plans in here. So let's go with column and hit okay. And let's go with uh, fixtures and hit okay. And we'll just keep running right through here. Uh, floors, okay. And we'll attach another drawing. Uh, we could do foundation, but honestly, uh, if I was working with this, uh, sending these to the structural, I don't want to send over our foundation. We'll skip that one. And um, we can do stairs. Okay, and I think that's about it. We've got windows. Yeah, we need our windows. You can see they're lacking down here. So let me go over to windows and say, okay. All right, so that's in good shape. Uh, we're all set there. Um, yeah, we don't need this foundation drawing. Uh, I think we can unload that one. There we go. Okay, so zoom extents, that is a complete level one drawing. And if I wanted to save this thing out, I can W block it. All right, so I type in W block, enter, and I'm going to uh, specify the entities. So I'll just do a right to left window, hit the space bar again, and then I wanna browse for where this thing is gonna go. And so we're gonna go with our exports for today. Um, that looks good. And we're gonna call this one, uh, maybe just St. Paul ADU and just call it 01 because this is going to be the actual drawing that I'm going to send over to a consultant, okay? And so we're going to W block that out. And W blocking, it takes these, these external references, puts them into a different drawing. All right. Okay, so we're good to go there. And um, let's see, I'm just going to erase all of these guys. And then I'm going to unload all of these guys. Uh, let's see, can I do just a mass uh, detach? There we go. All right, so that just kind of brings this, this file back to good. And we're gonna go ahead and attach another drawing. And let's start with our O2 walls. And we're gonna do the exact same thing again. Dump our walls in there, zoom extents. And this is now level two. And we'll go with level two doors. And only two doors on that one. And keep running right down the list of uh, fixtures. And we'll see our bathroom come into place and we can see our floors come into play. And let's see, stairs like that, and attach another drawing, and there's our windows, just like that. So that is how fast you can build these, and I'll W block this out. So, uh, let's see, we are going to specify our entities like that, and this one we're gonna call level two. So I'll just rename this one O2 like that, and say okay, all right. So this drawing, I just type close, and then we're gonna open our two drawings that we just created. And so these are over here, so we have uh, our drawings one and two, we can open those, all right? So check this out, level one, level two. We're in good shape. But it's, it's questionable, if you're familiar with CAD, you know how like these reference files can, can cause some problems. So 
you know, it, it just depends on like how savvy your consultants are with CAD. And I would say that any consultant, you would hope they're pretty savvy. And I can tell you that X-refing and uh, re reattaching references or repathing references should be well within any consultant's CAD abilities. Um, and anyone who says that they don't know what to do with this stuff, I, I would question their, their uh, skills in CAD. But either way, you can also kind of foolproof it by binding the references. So uh, let's do that just to show you, you know, if you have a savvy uh, consultant, maybe just send them the references as is, but I'll show you this other thing and then we'll wrap up this portion. Over here in this drawing, I'm just gonna take these references, right click and hit bind. And, um, uh, and you know what, I don't even, I don't do this a ton. So I think we'll just bind it. And now it's just, it's like, let me, let me hit LI, which is a list. And so this becomes, I'm guessing like some kind of a group. It's a block reference. Yeah, so it just becomes a block in here. So now they just have these different pieces in their drawing Okay, and, and they can um, really assign different layers or do whatever they want with this geometry. But if you bind all of these pieces and then save it, you can send it out. All right, so let me show you that again. Level two, you can just select uh, all of these pieces, right click and bind, and we'll say okay. And now it just becomes like dumbed down geometry inside of CAD and there's no, no questions about references and when you send them that file and they open it, it's going to look right. So, uh, but I wanna show you one other trick and that's what we're gonna do that in the next tutorial and that is a little bit more advanced for uh, if you are going to be using, uh, you, if you're working with a more savvy consultant who really fully understands all the different uh, referencing or if you wanted to abandon SketchUp and Layout and move over into 2D CAD, because maybe you have all your templates and all your standards set up in 2D CAD, but you love designing in SketchUp, no problem. You can use this to kind of kick things over into CAD and maintain the connectivity between your SketchUp model and your 2D CAD drawings. So I'm gonna show you that in the next tutorial. If you like this video, click the BD button to subscribe to our channel. Every week we post new videos covering SketchUp, Layout, Lumion, and our Condoc Tools extension. If you are a professional architect or interior designer, you're going to love our tutorials.